Yusuf, tell us what you do professionally. Uh, since 2001, I work with uh, United Bible Societies as translation consultant. Mm -hmm. I have been working with uh, different projects in Mali, in Senegal, Guinea-Bissau and Guinea-Conakry. But, but you're from... I'm from Mali. You're from Mali. And, yes. And, and at the moment you're in Mali? I am based in Mali, in Bamako. Okay. You see. Okay. What do you do as a consultant? As a consultant, I uh, do training. I train translators because some of them uh, were hired but uh, they didn't have any training. Mm -hmm. So uh, I do the training. Uh, translation principles. I train also the re revisers, mm -hmm. the review committee, mm -hmm. uh, because they need to be aware of uh, translation principles in order to be able to read uh, in a good way uh, the translations. Mm -hmm. uh, and I train in Paratex also. Uh, this is a Paratex. What is that? Paratex mean? is a software that we ah. use for translation. Yes. Uh, it's very, a very e efficient program mm -hmm. uh, for translation. Uh, it helps very much translators to improve the quality, to improve... Uh, uh, they can even be faster. Uh, Paratex is a software that has many versions of the biblical text and many glossary elements and right. explanations right. and concordancy. Concordances, yes. And it has the languages that you're working with or not? Well, you now you can type any language in a paratext, mm -hmm. but you, you will have um, uh, commentaries, mm -hmm. handbooks, uh, dictionaries, the Hebrew and Greek text. On the original on, language? Yes, yes, yes. But not on your target language? No, the target language is what you are translating into it, mm -hmm. so then you don't have that already, okay. Okay. unless there is a, it's a revision. Uh, if it is a revision, then you, you may have the older text. Okay. Yes. Uh, but it's a very, very important program, uh, very useful uh, for translators. Okay. So I train them uh, to be able to use the program efficiently. And then I check the quality of the uh, translation. Do you know all the languages? In no. The so how do you check that's, the quality? That's exactly what the uh, languages. Yeah. Yeah, that my children ask me. Yes. Uh, when I say I'm going to work with the Polar program, they say, "Oh, Daddy, do you know this uh, the, the language?" I say, "No." Um, they do back translation for me. Okay. And uh, right now, with the Paratex, it's even possible for us to do a back translation ourselves mm -hmm. with interlinear system. Okay. So you do back translation. And are you happy that that's good enough as a check on quality? Well, uh, you need to know the team, the quality of a team, uh, because I have seen some uh, strange things. All right. Mm -hmm. That uh, there was a language that I knew. Uh, the guy did a back translation that was not right, but the text was right. <laughs> okay. uh, so there are some <laughs> problems. Uh, if you don't know anything about the language, uh, it's not perfect, but it's what I've got, what you can do. And uh, what helps also is uh, the review committee, because you, you do your part, but they will show also to a, a review committee that will uh, do some remarks and then you check together. Yes. Yusuf, you were telling me you're interested in starting up translator training in Mali. Right. Not just for the Bible, but no. for other things. Can you tell me about the demand or the need for translators? Well, the, the demand is very, very high because there is no translation training uh, facility in Mali right now. Mm -hmm. um, so, and, and... And in Central or Western Africa? Um, you've got Nairobi, you've got... Well, that is a, and, and that is a Anglophone, yes. yes. but ah. Mali is Francophone. Right, okay. Uh, in Francophone okay. countries, uh, uh, they don't have... Um, and there is a, a new national language policy mm -hmm. uh, in Mali. It has been uh, right, uh, right now uh, started. Mm -hmm. uh, and the idea is really to promote 13 languages as a national languages, in addition to French, in, in partnership with French, mm -hmm. 
And so uh, they need to translate the documents, um, administrative documents, uh, into uh, um, the different languages. Does that mean 13 official languages? Well, this is what uh, they, at least they call them national languages. So, so you um, well, there's a difference, I yes. think. French will, will remain that, like the official language. Okay. okay. Uh, but among these languages, yeah, it's Bamana that is uh, most documented. Mm -hmm. We have more the Bible, the whole Bible in Bamana. Oh. Uh, we have some uh, lexicon already, French, mm -hmm. Bamana, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, some grammar. So. It so has been written for a, a long time now. Where would the translators and interpreters be needed? In all the languages. Okay. Because what happened, the government has a policy of um, teaching the languages at school, but the people rejected the document that were translated because the quality was not good. Okay. Um, and uh, when I talked to the, those who uh, work on the languages, they say, you know, uh, we found out that the quality of the translation was not good. Uh, why? Because those who translated did not uh, have a, a training in translation. Okay. And so they want to, that has been 40 years now, they have been working with this document and they have to throw them uh, away. 40 years? With 40 years of... But, but the language policy is yes. recent. Well, it's it? recent, but they have already been working on um, promoting okay. some languages. Okay. Uh, so, uh, and they say, but we don't have resources. And when they uh, went to the launching of uh, the Dogon Bible, mm -hmm. uh, they say, well, we didn't know that we have resources in, uh, in the okay. country. And okay. I say, yes. Okay. For 10 years I have been uh, doing translation. So you have resources for the Bible, but right. not for other uses? No, 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 not for other uses. So then um, uh, the, the, the goal is to really have a, a um, translator's training center for other languages, for uh, um, political uh, documents, this, administrative documents. Is this important for the politics or political it's a democracy of the country? Um, we are learning. learning. We are learning democracy. Um, but you yes, have to I, the book, right. <laughs> I will. Uh, uh, my paper would be uh, on uh, this situation uh, and to present the need and so on, uh, because that is very important in my country right now. Okay. And I have been very much already uh, encouraged by what I have seen or heard here. Mm -hmm. So. What is done in, like in Armenia, has been done there. So this is the same kind of thing we need to do in Mali. Yusuf, what, what were you doing when you were 22, 23, 24? Well, when I was 22, 23, uh, I was studying. Yeah. Where were you, you know, I did a master's degree in um, engineering studies. After my high mm -hmm. school, I went to Cuba. Mm -hmm. For agricultural studies. Okay. Uh, well, but because of. So you spoke uh, Spanish? Yes. yes. Because of uh, my religious engagement uh, commitment. Mm -hmm. So Fidel Castro didn't want me there. Right. So okay. Then uh, yeah. I came back home and I finished my studies um, uh, uh, in Mali, mm -hmm. in agricultural studies. Mm -hmm. And then I went to France for theology. Okay, so, so you did that in French then? In, uh, yes, in French, uh, master's degree in theology. In Catholic theology? Or no, Protestant, Protestant uh, okay. evangelical no, Protestant good. theology. Good, good. Yes. So, and then? And then I went back home mm -hmm. to be engaged in teaching and pastoral ministry in my Okay. Life. Yes. Okay. So, and I, so little by little you've risen within within the church or with Yeah, within the church. Okay, uh, but then uh, after six years of pastoral ministry and teaching in the Bible school, uh, I went to the U.S. for my Ph.D. Okay. Yes, in... Uh, Where did you do that? Uh, Deerfield, Illinois. Okay. Yeah. In English? In English, yes, yeah. So you've been through Spanish, French, right. and English. Yeah. Well, myself, I have studied a lot of languages. Yeah. Uh, I studied well. When, when you begin school, you study French. Yeah. Bamana is my uh, okay. my native tongue. 
Um, then uh, in high uh, in seventh grade you start English. Mm -hmm. High school I studied uh, three years of Russian. And then uh, when I went to finish high school I went to high uh, to university. I did Spanish for one year before starting starting my studies. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I I studied German by myself. And uh, this is in addition <laughs> to all the in, yeah. all the African languages. Well, well. Uh, I, I don't speak other African languages because Just my language is the main language in oh, Mali. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. And so I didn't get the need to speak another language. And biblical language? So many biblical language I, I studied uh, Hebrew and Greek. I taught even Hebrew and Greek. Uh, I, I studied Ugaritic. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, so but that's our languages I studied, okay. yes, yes. Tell me, what do you think, what would you like to see us do in translation studies? Well, in translation That could be of any yeah. help to, yes. to you, I guess. Yeah. Well, um, the reality is that there are very few documents in French. That's, uh, really? In French, yes. I, at least in, we don't know them uh, very well in our area. Mm -hmm. uh, there are many documents in English, but uh, French is kind of world language uh, for that. Uh, and my country uses more French. Okay. Yes. Um, what kind of documents? Mm -hmm. Like well, even teaching document okay. uh, translation. Okay. Um, you yeah, have yeah. lots of philosophy in French. Yes. Like uh, Berman, Méchonique, La Birale. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. philosophy. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Not much actually. I, I like philosophy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. So that's a valuable point. Yes. And with respect to research, is yeah. there anything that you would like to see us doing, or that you would like to be doing yourself? Well, myself, I'm. Uh, yeah, I would be working on uh, the comparison of Hebrew and uh, Bamana. Mm -hmm. uh, I started, but I didn't see a lot of documentation on uh, this issue. Okay. But, uh, there are some uh, very interesting uh, links between uh, Hebrew and Bamana. Okay. Okay. So that's uh, some area I would like to continue doing research. Um, Do you think translation studies is too Western, too European? Do you think there's a hindrance in, in this? Well, hindrance would be it is accessible only for those who speak French or English. Yes. That's the problem. Uh, the great majority of people in our area would not be able to, to have access to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so that, that is, and, and, and yet they are involved in translation. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, so that's uh, uh, the hindrance. In my view. Okay. If we could uh, again translate your your results in our languages, it will be uh, more uh, profitable for many people. Is there room for a two-way movement? That is, in Western translation studies, we have some ideas. Yes. But I don't think we're receiving enough ideas yeah, okay. from non-Western yes, translation. Yes, that's it. The yeah. translation should come back. Right. I think. That is, uh, in fact, also the, the question of a language barrier. Right? Because, yes, we do practice, mm. a lot of practice. Uh, again, uh, sometimes for African, it's not easy to do research. You, you get uh, involved in so many things that uh, research is not uh, easy. Mm. Uh, but, yes, we have, the, I would say, the raw materials uh, for uh, translation studies. Um, because in my own family, my family, uh, my wife speaks uh, a different language and uh, she has nephews uh, at home. They speak their language, Miyanka. I speak Bamana. Uh, the children have learned English and French. So, so what do you speak with your wife? I speak Bamana with my wife okay. or, or French. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, with the children, I speak English sometimes uh, or we switch to French. So it's uh, already uh, a mixture of language in the same family, um, and um, well, in the service uh, at church, two languages I preach usually in Bamana, mm -hmm. and there is somebody translating into French. Okay, in church. Yeah. 
So that's uh, every Sunday. So you're living translation. Translation. We are living translation. At home and in church. Yes. Yeah. And I myself, I studied translation when I was uh, in the third grade. Really? Yes. Okay. Because people uh, come to me to write their letters. Ah. They speak, okay. they speak they speak Bamana and I write in, in French. <laughs> so you, you've been a translator since the oh, yes, yes. power experience. Right. <laughs> but we want, we want the, the knowledge of the theory of translation. Ah, yes. But you had the practice. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yusuf, thank you very much. You're welcome.